Hey everyone, this is just a short video for anybody who has a Toyota Aristo that has had a power steering rack in the rear go bad. Um, if you're in New Zealand like I am, this will cause you to fail your warrant of fitness. Um, <clears throat> and rather than getting another rack, you can get a lockout bar, like a hard race one, or there's a Tom's one as well. Uh, but what these kits don't include is a way to get around uh, the VCS, the Vehicle Stability Control and the Traction Control System, which stop functioning. And the lights for those will permanently be on on your dashboard. Uh, another light that you'll get is the Active, uh, active Rear Steering or ARS light that comes on. Um, now when... There are two plugs in this rack. Uh, this one here, which I have removed to create an adapter, this is responsible for the VCS and the traction control. And this one here is for the power to the rack. So when you plug this one back in, the ACS light, uh, ARS light will go out and this one here is what you need to make the vehicle stability control and the traction control lights go out. So what you need to do here is cut out, get rid of all the other cables that are here, uh, take this, uh, you can't really see properly, there we go, the grey and yellow you need to put a 3 kilo ohm resistor on each of those wires and then connect the other end to this blue wire. So those are these resistors which are orange, blue, blue, brown, brown. I'll put a link in the description um, to the appropriate resistors that I got from JCAR but it was a dollar for this many of them. Eight. So, this connector just connects all the way, comes up into this area of the car, and right in there is the e what's called the ECU for the active rear steering. Uh, I'll try. You can see that grey plug is where the power goes and the white plug just to the left of it is where where this guy goes. So once you pop him back in, the vehicle the stability control and the traction control will work again. Um, as for the ARS light, um, because you are going to be getting, uh, you have to get certified in New Zealand at least for uh, the lockout bar because you're meddling with suspension stuff. Um, you're removing the whole active rear uh, steering system. So the best option is just to take the light bulb out of the gauge um, because it's no longer going to be in the car anyway. Um, because I haven't figured out how to adapt this and whatever you need to do in order to get it to make it go out naturally. Um, so yeah, I hope that is helpful for you, for anybody, um, because it's sure been a bit of a pain for me to try and sort out, and uh, I'd just like anybody to have the knowledge if they encounter this problem again. Cheers.